Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another review, and today we have a review here. This is the Quip Electric Toothbrush, guys. This is the blue variant. You, this comes in green, it comes in blue, you can get this in black and stuff like that, and I'm really excited to be making this product review for you guys. So yeah, I have really needed a toothbrush, a dependable toothbrush I can use over the long term, for a long time now. To be frank, it's always been an issue I've had to deal with. I've used electric toothbrushes, I've used, you know, just manual toothbrushes and stuff like that, and I find the durability of the manual ones to be quite poor. I'm, I end up replacing my manual toothbrush almost every other week, it seems like. Yes, I do brush a little bit on the harder side, I will be honest with you. That gives me satisfaction that I'm cleaning my teeth rigorously when I'm really pressing. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I tend to do that anyway, and that's my problem. And then you have electric toothbrushes I've used in the past. Usually it's a circle and it spins, and I, I don't find it to be very helpful. Often I don't really feel like I'm getting a good clean. So people seem to really like this product. It is on the bigger side, I can tell, by just the way the packaging looks, and I've looked at reviews of this product already. I have not used it before, guys, so let's unbox this thing, and let's get the show on the road. This is a very, very very much a marketing play. Marketing has always been the main focus of this product, so I am concerned that can it really provide enough value to make up for the marketing cost. I mean, the box itself looks very nice, very compelling. So we're gonna lift up this label right here. That's how you're supposed to open the product. Sorry about that. So we're gonna open that up, and so I'm gonna peel it down all the way, like that. And then, like this, the product case should come out, which it does. As you can see on the inside here, this is the product advertisement, and this is for other products it looks like. Yeah, this is a $15 reward gift card you can use to buy future refills, guys. That's one of the thing about this product, guys, the marketing play. They make a lot of money on the refills, not necessarily the, the first product you buy here, you can think of this as a loss leader. A loss leader is a common kind of marketing play companies will take to get your foot in the door, to get their foot in the door and get your money. And then once you've committed to the product, the refills is where they make all their margin. And then it's something you need to buy over and over again because you've already made the initial investment on the major, the first product, guys. A lot of times, console manufacturers, when you buy not a Nintendo console, Nintendo is very good about making a profit on the hardware, but if you buy a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox One Series X, sometimes they take a loss on the initial hardware, which you could think of this as the initial hardware, and then you could think of the software as the refills, as the things you need to keep buying to get the most out of your hardware. And for this is the refill heads for the product. Um, and that's kind of how they make the money. So our loss leader is a very common marketing play. And uh, you know, I'm not too surprised to see a gift card to get you your first refill is advertised. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up as best I can. Like that. Oh, it kind of fell off there. But this is the toothbrush, guys. Here is the toothbrush here. I'm very excited to be reviewing this product. I know I kind of said that already. Um, but here we go. So there's nothing else really in the box here, kind of all comes out. So we'll put the box to the, to the side here. And here is the magic, guys. Here is the toothbrush. I don't see a charger or anything. It's possible I'm missing it. Oh, maybe you have to really bring your own charger, which kind of sucks. I, I really don't see a charger in here. Um, I'll, look, I'll look at that more later. But let's open the bad boy up. There's another tear here, kind of down there. So we're gonna tear here to, uh, to get rid of this. Actually, it actually says to twist. So I will twist as it says to twist. And yeah, that does work guys. The product did come out. Goodbye to this plastic shell here. And here's a better look at the product guys. Here is the Quip, uh, sorry, Quip electronic toothbrush guys. So let me tell you a couple of facts about this toothbrush. Um, apparently the battery lasts for three months, which is awesome. It's, it's It has the electronic kind of shaking, the electronic aspect but it's very gentle it's not meant to be too hard guys which is very very nice apparently you can use this as a travel cover as well so this is very convenient you can bring this on the go and it will last it's hard plastic guys it's lightweight it has a two minute timer with um, guiding pulses which kind of tells you if that area of your mouth has been kind of cleaned enough so it's a lot of interesting technology Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if this cover comes off. I'm, by cover, I mean the bottom cover here. I think it does. Uh, I see there's still some tape on here, so I'm gonna pull the tape off here. Like that, and there you go, guys. Now the product is fully out. It looks like it takes 
To me, it looks like it's USB-C here on the bottom, guys, but I'm going to have to take a closer look here. It looks like there's some more packaging here. There's some more tape on the back here. So let's pull this tape off like this. And here we go, guys. Here is the toothbrush, guys. Um, so there's, there is so many different components here. It's kind of crazy. You know, you still got more to go here. I think I can feel it shaking. It's almost like you could take this off because you need to you need to know where the battery is, right? So I'm gonna p try to pull this off. If I can't figure it out, I'm gonna pause the video and check the instruction manual because I don't even see a way to pull this off and get to the battery, guys. So to get to the battery here, you see this part right here? You gotta press on it. I know it's hard to see. Let me get the camera to focus. You gotta press like this and then you push up like that. And then the battery is just kind of, it's kind of just loosely sitting in here. Like this. Like that. And, then, and there you go, guys. So it comes with a nice battery. And it's Energizer Max. Very nice of them. Energizer makes good batteries. If you're going to pick a battery in this field, Energizer is the way to go. Duracell is hot garbage. In my experience, I've seen Duracell batteries leak and corrode like crazy. I don't care if it's Duracell Max, Duracell, whatever the heck they want to sell you guys. The Duracells are garbage. So I'm very happy to see them not going with Duracell. You're going to take this piece, guys. You're going to stick it right back in there. Make sure you line up all the grooves so it kind of pops back in um, like this. Then you kind of just press down like that. And just like that, the product is back together. You're going to put the cover back on like this. And just like that, guys, your razor is is ready to go like that perfect guys so i'm ready to start testing the product guys let's pull out the toothpaste let's get a test going let's see if this product can really do what it's trying to do guys you know so let's pull out the toothpaste got my toothpaste guys if you're going with the toothpaste the sensodyne extra whitening baby that's how i like it that's how you guys should like it so let's Fire up this product. Here we go. Also, if you're wondering, the American Dental Association officially accepts this product, if you're wondering. So let's put, let's put some toothpaste on. Here we go. And let's start the fun here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See right there? You see how it stopped for a second? That's how you know you need to move to the new area. All right, guys, I just finished brushing my teeth. I just rinsed my mouth out. You guys don't have to watch me do that. And now let's go over the process of putting the cover back on. Here's the cover. Here you go, you're gonna stick it in like this. Here you go. And just like that, guys, the product is securely fastened within the carry-on case. And this case should stand up on its own, right? Which it does, as you guys can see. Honestly, guys, like, I'm actually very impressed by this product. Yes, there's no rechargeable option, you know what I'm saying? So you do have to replace the battery every couple of months. But you know what? Rechargeable batteries die anyway. In a way, I kind of don't mind it. And if it promises three months of battery life, that's kind of pretty good, to be frank with you guys. So I think it's time to give my verdict here. Overall, my first impressions of this product is this thing is actually awesome. I got this on sale for $19.99 at Target. You can also get it for $19.99 from Amazon, which the link down below I'm going to give you will be Amazon, guys. So definitely check it out. Honestly, yes, the refill is here. Let's see how much the refill is. I actually don't know offhand. So I'm looking at the Quip website. It looks like if you want to get one brush head, it's $7.00 for three months, guys. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna check Amazon right now for you guys as well. I wanna know what Amazon charges. Because Amazon's always gonna have the best pricing for this stuff. So the Quip replacement heads. Let's see how much money Amazon charges. So I see third-party companies offering their heads too. Like for example, I see a company called Jup Sith that's giving you a four pack for $18.99. But the official Quip pack, you wanna buy three heads and each head will last you about three months so that's about nine months of usage it's about 36 bucks guys so it's up to you if you think that's the fair value proposition but you'll save about 50 percent going third party i don't know if i would go third party your teeth are important and they are very very costly 
if you have an issue with your teeth. So I am hesitant to go with third party, but honestly, the third parties do look pretty well. And I do see some pretty positive reviews here as well, based on what I'm seeing now. But overall, the Quip is actually really good. I actually highly recommend this product. This is gonna be my new daily driver. I'm gonna get rid of all my other toothbrushes and stuff like that. So I do recommend it guys. Make sure to use my Amazon link down below if you wanna buy this product, it supports me. And you know, you're gonna get the product you need at the price you want it. So make sure you guys do that. Other than that, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, favorite, put on the notification bell and turn off the ad block guys. Please do that, that really helps me out. Also guys, check out this video for free on my website. You can see this video and every video I've ever made without ads, guys. Turn off the ad block. If you really need ad block, go to my website. Watch the same video for free without the ads. There's just no ads. I just want you guys to check out my website for you. No, no accounts, nothing like that. Um, it's just a passion project I have, and I would appreciate you guys check it out. Also, kind of a channel update for you guys. You may have noticed I've started to post shorts. Shorts, you know, I like to travel. I like to do interesting things in my free time. And I think shorts is just gonna be me and interesting things I'm doing in my life. And it's just gonna be kind of that, guys. I went to the Isle of Skye in Scotland. It's called the Fairy Pools. I just posted that video today. An amazing experience, guys. I, I highly recommend it. Checking out the fairy pools, the island, the Isle of Skye in Scotland. I also posted a video of me in Bermuda. This is this is not like it's not like it's happening now. This is just footage I've had for years now of my various traveling experience, and I, me me in an electric car in Bermuda driving the local roads. That was another fantastic experience I had in Bermuda. So that's kind of what I'm doing for you guys. I'm posting content of my experiences through shorts. But if you want the quality reviews you've always come to expect, don't worry, the actual videos on this channel is not changing. I'm just giving you more content in the form of shorts. So let me know down below what you think about all this greatness I'm trying to produce for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. And thank you and bye.